issues are pretty serious, hitting over 15% of adults in the U.S. What's worse is that kidney problems jack up your creatinine levels, which is a bit of a headache and can bring out many challenges. But no need to panic as we've got you covered because there are a few simple ways to manage high creatinine levels. These methods are not only gentle on your system, but also on your wallet. But before we jump in, let's understand why creatinine matters and what the fuss is all about. Creatinine is a byproduct formed through the breakdown of protein during digestion and the natural degradation of muscle tissue. The bloodstream carries this waste product to the kidneys, where it undergoes filtration for elimination via urine. While everyone has a natural level of creatinine in their blood, an excess could signal a potential kidney problem. If your kidneys aren't working as they should, the creatinine level in your blood may spike, affecting different systems and causing symptoms like nausea, chest pain, alterations in urination frequency, or even high blood pressure. We know that these symptoms are tough to handle, so keeping an eye on your creatinine levels is crucial. But if you already have elevated creatinine levels, it appears that reducing protein intake is a great way to reduce creatinine levels. I understand that it could be hard to achieve, but studies indicate that consuming high amounts of protein can temporarily raise creatinine levels. Cooked red meat in particular influences creatinine as the heat during cooking causes creatine in meat to turn into creatinine. Those on diets rich in red meat or protein sources like dairy might experience higher creatinine levels compared to those with a more balanced intake. If you're a fan of red meat, consider incorporating more vegetable-based options into your meals. Swap beef burgers for vegetable patties or try heartwarming alternatives like vegetable stew or lentil soup. Making these changes can contribute to a more balanced diet and potentially help in managing creatinine levels. And while you do it, try to lower your salt intake Elevated sodium intake places undue stress on your kidneys and is associated with heightened blood pressure. Moreover, a surplus of salt in your diet has been demonstrated to significantly raise the levels of protein in the urine, and that could potentially spell trouble for your kidneys. To keep things in check and show some love to your kidneys, watch out for that salt intake. Being mindful of the sodium in your grub isn't just a kidney-friendly move, it also plays cool with your overall health. Strike a balance and your kidneys will thank you for it. And while you do it, subscribe to Natural Education as we'll bring more informative content just for you. Now, let's move to another way, which is related to drugs. Overdoing it with over-the-counter painkillers, especially non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, can be risky, especially if you have kidney issues. NSAIDs, which are known for their pain relief and anti-inflammatory perks, can mess with your kidney function by blocking prostaglandins. If you're popping these pills like candy, it could lead to anything from temporary issues to long-term kidney woes and a buildup of creatinine in your system. To play it safe, the National Kidney Foundation suggests keeping your use of these over-the-counter meds in check, no more than 10 days for pain or three days for a fever. Another easy method that I could suggest is simply avoid taking creatine. Your body naturally produces creatinine as it breaks down creatine, a substance found in foods like fish and meat. Creatine serves to energize muscles and is stored in the brain, kidneys, and liver. Now, if you're hitting the gym and popping creatine supplements for gains, cool. But watch out for high doses as they might bump up creatinine levels. It's not a kidney threat, but if you are keen on dialing down creatinine, maybe rethink those mega doses. Before incorporating creatine supplements into your routine, consider getting a kidney test and consulting your doctor. They could recommend the perfect creatine dose tailored to your body's specs. And I could bet that they would also recommend quitting smoking. Lighting up tobacco isn't just tough on your lungs, it also throws a wrench into the works for your kidneys. Smoking slows down blood flow to crucial organs, including the kidneys, and amps up the risk of kidney disease. Plus, it plays the spoiler for medications tackling high blood pressure, making them less effective and potentially paving the way for kidney trouble. On a brighter note, a study showed that folks who kicked the smoking habit experienced less kidney function decline compared to active smokers. Quitting isn't a walk in the park, but a smoking cessation program can be your ally. Another great habit that you should avoid is alcohol consumption. When consumed in moderation, typically doesn't ring alarm bells for your kidneys. But excessive drinking, clocking in at more than four drinks daily, can throw a curveball at your health especially if you're already dealing with kidney issues. When we say one drink, we're talking about a 12-ounce beer, a glass of wine, or a one-ounce shot of hard liquor. 
According to stats from the Centers for Disease Control, a significant portion of U.S. adults indulge in alcohol. Some even push the limits, downing more than five drinks in one sitting. This binge drinking not only poses a risk for acute kidney failure, but also puts your kidneys on a slow burn if you regularly overdo it. Regular heavy drinking isn't a kidney-friendly move either. It's been linked to doubling the risk of chronic kidney disease, a persistent condition that can spike those creatinine levels. On top of that, excessive alcohol can wreak havoc on your liver, which, in turn, adds more stress to your kidneys. Something else that I would really encourage if you wish to reduce creatinine levels is to manage your fluids. The old advice of drinking eight glasses of water daily may not have magic powers, but it's a solid goal because it nudges you to stay well hydrated. Keeping a regular water intake is a healthy habit, especially for your kidneys. Dehydration can mess with creatinine levels, so sipping that H2O is a smart move. For those dealing with kidney disease, fluid intake becomes a bit more nuanced. The National Kidney Foundation recommends around three liters for men and 2.2 for women with CKD. And if you've tried all the above seven ways, perhaps you should consider Kytosan supplements. Kytosan, often used as a dietary supplement for weight loss and cholesterol control, has shown potential in reducing creatinine levels, particularly in individuals with renal failure. In a 2011 study involving 80 patients with renal failure, those who took Kytosan tablets experienced significant drops in creatinine levels compared to the control group after four weeks. While these findings suggest a positive impact, it's crucial to approach Kytosan cautiously. Before incorporating it to lower creatinine levels, it's wise to have a chat with your doctor. They can guide you on whether it's a suitable option for you and provide recommendations on the right dosage. But if you feel you need a little backup for these natural ways to quickly reduce creatinine levels, check out this video, Five Best Supplements to Lower Creatinine Levels, Which Ones Really Work? And you can find a list of other great supplements you could try.